Hello and welcome back to the Custom Garage Backyard Build-Out Series. Uh, I think this is maybe number six. We've had quite a bit of complications with weather here. Uh, it seems to rain every time we turn around to do something and fills up the holes with, um, with dirt and we end up digging back out the trenches to continue with the irrigation system. So we've managed to basically putz along here and I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. I've got a couple here that i got to finish up at these lines and so we could just go ahead and connect them with a 90 degree like this. I'll circle around here and show you where these flags are is where they've already installed and backfilled the trenches. So as you can see here we've got flags on these because I'm going to come through here later with my grader and hopefully not tear, tear the heads off these sprinklers. Over here we had to get a little creative. Um, I was going to stop right out there, but then I realized that's pretty close to that head and not really in the middle of that one over there. So we dug a little further out. We're going to drop this line in. I ran into a root there. I'm going to have to take a sawzall and cut through that root down there. Um, this zone is done and it's coming through here. There's going to be two supply lines running through this area right here back up to the uh, faucet which is right there and that'll tie in two zones right there and then the last two zones will come out of here and one will go this way and one will go that way. It's coming. I'm going to walk out here to the front and show you a little bit. This is, um, the front's pretty much done and it's sinking in where, where the lines are and that's good because I'm going to come back in with one more load of topsoil. Drop it in here. You can see how far we sunk from the sidewalk along the edge there. So we're going to have to backfill that a little bit as well. Um, the good thing about that though is as we put um, the loose dirt on top, that is what the hydro seeder needs is a nice soft um, kind of a fluffy surface on top to uh, get the seed to germinate. So we'll be putting this on my head here and I'll go over a few of the connections and then we're going to be heading off to uh, Sam's Club because we found out we can get a 40 gallon water barrel and a nice color that matches the siding over here and this drain here was just getting pumped out to the back and water was getting wasted so we're going to be cutting this pipe off however high the drum comes sticking it inside a water rain water barrel and it has a faucet on the side of it so we can drop off of that and water flowers or whatever we want in between versus turning on the water just seems a shame to watch it all go out into the into the woods and um, let that uh, be the benefit of it so we're going to be picking that up later today and it was kind of interesting because i spent 100 it's about 125 dollars for a 100 foot roll of drain pipe a black four inch well what's laying here that we've tore up we can buy the barrel for $99. We're going to go with the barrel. Give it a shot. I mean, we can always go back and do something later on if it doesn't work out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on my head here and I'm going to start doing a little few of these connections here. The one thing I will say about um, Orbit with these systems is that you have to be careful when you order the kit because you might need extra fittings. And if you don't do, you know, kind of a drawing or a, a schematic of what you're going to do, and even when you do, it's going to change so you just you know you can always order them and if you get it in right away and you don't need them you can always return them um, if it's within 30 days with Amazon they're really good about um, their returns in my opinion and um, I've taken advantage of that quite a bit and you can always take back what you don't but if you're ending something like this see how easy that went in there I'm just going to double check it one more time make sure it's pushed in there all the way and these can be, you pull back on them and they'll release. So if you get something together and it's not what you want, you can always take it apart and redo it. And, you know, I don't know where my finished height is going to be. So I'm kind of guessing, leaving them a little bit higher than the ground is right now because I already know I'm going to be um, adding a little bit of fill to this, all this. And uh, so that's going to uh, change the height. I think the way the ground is, you can pull up on them if need be. I don't think I'll need to push down on them, but I might need to pull them up a little bit. And if so, you just have to dig them up a little bit to get them to come back up. So 
So right now I'm about a little bit above where this ground is right here, which I think is a good starting point. God, these roots are terrible. I'm gonna come back and cut that root. this one a little high because I think we're going to be bringing this ground up a little bit. Oh, it's got to be somewhere around 18 or 20 holes I got to dig for post. A lot of this is trial and error. I mean, you, you're looking at it, you think you got it figured out and then you go, oh shoot, like I need some teas. And these kits only came with two. One. All right, let's see if it's got a blade on it too. Awesome. Now we just need a battery. Grab this big guy. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Let's start here. It's definitely got to come up. All right, let's go with this. You know, if I end up with a thousand dollars in all this, and I was reading online where people were talking about, just people in the orbit conversation were saying, one guy says, yeah, my neighbor spent $4,000 on his system. He's gotta pay to have it blown out every year. He says, I paid less than 300 or 400, I think he said, and I blow my own out and I don't have any maintenance. And I spent 10% of what he spent, basically. And you know, when you look at it that way, eh, you know what? I saved a lot of money. Okay. You can tell when they're in all the way, they'll stop. Um, okay, that gets this done up to here. Soak in. That's where my tea will go. This way and that way. And then we'll tie the rest of that in. Where oh, we need it. To take a break here. Uh, back at you later on. We're gonna, gonna go pick up that rain barrel. Um, I might run a little bit more of this just so I can see where I'm at online and know how much more to order. But um, we're pretty close to being. Uh, well, like I said, we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three. We got about eight more heads to run down through here, and that should do it. Um, so, uh, we should finish up the last two zones. Obviously, you can see this one got washed out pretty bad. I have to go back at that one. But, uh, look at the rest of these in here, and um, 
back at you maybe later today on this Sunday and um, we'll be doing the uh, setting up the rain barrel and showing you that. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, hit the all so you get all of the uh, videos that we put out and uh, we'll talk to you soon and thanks for supporting the channel.